gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. Bless, Master. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. worship God our King. Come let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. <coughs> Come let us worship and fall down before Christ himself our King and our God. Come let us worship and fall down before him. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, thou hast been magnified exceedingly. Confession and majesty hast thou put on, who covers thyself with light as with a garment, who stretcheth out the heavens as it were a curtain, who supporteth his chambers in the waters, who appointeth the cloud for his ascent, who walketh upon the wings of the wind, who makes his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire, who establishes the earth in the sureness thereof, it shall not be turned back forever and ever. The abyss, like a garment, is his mantle, and upon the mountains shall the water stand. At thy rebuke they will flee, at the voice of thy thunder shall they be afraid. The mountains rise up, and the plains sink down, unto the place which thou hast established them. Thou appointest the bound, that they shall not pass, neither return to cover the earth. He sendeth forth springs in the valleys, between the mountains where the waters run. They shall give drink to all the beasts of the field, the wild asses will wait to quench their thirst. Beside them will the birds of the heavens lodge. From the midst of the rocks will they give voice. He watereth the mountains from his chambers. The earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He causes the grass to grow for the cattle and green herb for the service of men. To bring forth bread out of the earth and wine maketh glad the heart of man. To make his face cheerful with oil and bread strengtheneth man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be satisfied, the cedars of Lebanon which thou hast planted. There will the sparrows make their nests, the house of the heron is chief among them. The high mountains are a refuge for the hearts, and so is the rock for the hares. He hath made the moon for seasons, the sun knoweth his going down. Thou appointest the darkness, and there was the night, wherein all the beasts of the forest will go abroad, young lions roaring after their prey, and seeking their food from God. The sun arises, and they are gathered together, and they lay them down in their dens. Man shall go forth into his work, into his labor, until the evening. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, and wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is filled with thy creation, so is this great and spacious sea, wherein are things creeping innumerable, small living creatures with the great. There go the ships, there is this Leviathan, whom thou hast made to play therein. All things wait on thee to give them their food in due season. When thou givest it them, they will gather it. When thou openest thy hand, all things shall be filled with goodness. When thou turnest away thy face, they shall be troubled. Thou wilt take their spirit, and they shall cease, and their, unto their dust shall they return. Thou wilt send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be unto the ages, the Lord will rejoice in his works. Who looketh on the earth, and maketh it tremble, who touches the mountains, and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord throughout my life, I will chant to my God for as long as I have my being. May my words be sweet unto him, I will rejoice in the Lord. O that sinners would cease from the earth, and they that work iniquity, that they should be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The sun knoweth his going down. Thou appointest the darkness, and there was the night. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, and wisdom hast thou made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto you ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. O our God and our hope, glory to thee. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the good estate of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for those who with faith, reverence, and the fear of God entered therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Father,
Father Metropolitan Joseph, for the venerable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Metropolitan Paul and Archbishop John, and for their quick release from captivity and safe return, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the President of the United States, for all civil authorities and for armed forces everywhere, especially for Peter, Ronnie, Andrew, Joshua, Benjamin, Thaddeus, Adam, Schuyler, okay. Madison, Cecil, and Will, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city and for every city and land, and for the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For healthful seasons, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by sea, by land, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, <clears throat> for captives and for their salvation, for those under persecution for the faith, for our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all-holy, immaculate, most blessed most and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, o Lord. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Hear my words, for they are sweet, 
As when the thickness of the earth is broken upon the ground, their bones are scattered by the side of hell. But to thee, O Lord, Lord, are mine eyes, in thee have I put my trust. Take not away my soul. Keep me from the snares which they have laid for me, and the traps of the workers of iniquity. Let the wicked fall into their own nets, whilst I alone escape. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, with my voice unto the Lord did I make my supplication. I put up my supplication before him. I showed before him my trouble. When my spirit which was overwhelmed within me, then thou knew who is my path. In the way wherein I walked, heavy secretly laid a step on me. I looked on my right hand and beheld, but there was no man that would know me. The refuge failed me. My soul. I cried unto thee, O Lord, I said, Thou art my refuge, and my portion in the land of the living. Attend unto my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may praise thy name. Accept our evening prayers, O Holy Lord, and grant us remission of our sins. For Thou, O Lord, hast made manifest the resurrection unto the world. The righteous shall wait for me until Thou recompense me. Encompass Zion, O ye peoples, and surround her. Give ye glory therein to him who arose from the dead. For he is our God, that he hath delivered us from our transgressions. <laughs> Out of the depths have I cried to thee, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. O come ye people, let us praise Christ and bow down before him. Glorifying his resurrection from the dead. For he is our God, who hath delivered the world from the wiles of the enemy. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. By thy passion, O Christ, have we been set free from sufferings. And by thy resurrection, we have been delivered from corruption, O Lord, glory to thee. If thou, Lord, should mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? For with thee there is forgiveness. Today hath Hades sighed, crying, It were better for me that I had not received the begotten of Mary. For when he approached me, he loosed my power and crushed my gates of brass, arousing the souls which I had possessed, he being God. <coughs> Wherefore glory be to thy crucifixion and to thy resurrection, O Lord. Because of thy name have I waited for thee, O Lord. My soul hath waited upon thy word. My soul hath hoped in the Lord. Today hath Hades sign crying, It were better for me that I had not received the begotten of, the begotten of Mary. For when he approached me, he loosed my power and crushed my gates of brass, arousing the souls which I had possessed. He being God, wherefore glory be to thy crucifixion and to thy resurrection, O, o Lord. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch, let Israel trust in the Lord. <laughs> Today hath Hades sighed, crying, My power hath vanished because I received a dead man as 
was one of the dead, but could not hold him completely. Rather I lost with him those who were under my reign. From the beginning of time, I have held control over the dead, but this one raised all. Wherefore glory be to thy crucifixion and to thy resurrection, O Lord. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is abundant redemption, mm -hmm. and he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities. Today at Hades side crying, my power hath been swallowed up for the shepherd, Crucified hath raised Adam and those who I had possessed. I lost those who I'd swallowed by my might. I have given up com completely. For the crucified hath emptied the graves. And the might of death hath been, hath been vanquished. Wherefore glory to thy cross, O Lord and to thy resurrection. <clears throat> For he 
The powerful will vanquish all your enemies. Wisdom, stand upright. from the book of Genesis. Let us be attentive. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was moving over the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning one day. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it separate the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament and separated the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. And God called the firmament heaven. And there was evening and there was morning a second day. And God said, Let the waters under the heavens be gathered together in one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. God called the dry land earth, and the waters that were gathered together he called seas. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let the earth put forth vegetation, plants yielding seed, and fruit trees bearing fruit in which there is seed, each according to its kind upon the earth. And it was so. And the earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seed according to their own kinds, and trees bearing fruit in which there is seed, each according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning a third day. <clears throat> the reading is from the prophecy of Jonah. Let us be attentive. Now the word of the Lord came to Jonah, the son of Amittai, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for their wickedness has come up before me. But Jonah rose to flee to Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. He went down to Joppa and found a ship going to Tarshish. So he paid the fare and went on board to go with them to Tarshish, away from the presence of the Lord. But the Lord hurled a great wind upon the sea, and there was a mighty tempest on the sea, so that the, thr the ship threatened to break up. Then the mariners were afraid, and each cried to his God, and they threw the wares that were in the ship into the sea to lighten it for them. But Jonah had gone down into the inner part of the ship and had lain down and was fast asleep. So the captain came and said to him, What do you mean, you sleeper? Arise, call upon your God. Perhaps the God will give a thought to us that we do not perish. And they said to one another, Come, let us cast lots, that we may know on whose account this evil has come upon us. So they cast lots, and the lot fell upon Jonah. Then they said to him, Tell us, on whose account this evil has come upon us? What is your occupation, and whence do you come? What is your country, and of what people are you? And he said to them, I am a Hebrew, and I fear the Lord, the God of heaven, who made the sea and the dry land. Then the men were exceedingly afraid and said to him, What is this that you have done? For the men knew that he was fleeing from the presence of the Lord because he had told them. Then they said to him, What shall we do to you that the sea may quiet down for us? For the sea grew more and more tempestuous. <clears throat> he said to them, Take me up and throw me into the sea. 
Then the sea will quiet down for you, and I know it is because of me that this great tempest has come upon you. Nevertheless, the men rowed hard to bring the ship back to land, but they could not, for the sea grew more and more tempestuous against them. Therefore they cried to the Lord, We beseech thee, O Lord, let us not perish for this man's life, and lay not on us innocent blood, for thou, O Lord, hast done as it pleased thee. So they took up Jonah and threw him into the sea, and the sea ceased from its raging. Then the men feared the Lord exceedingly, and they offered a sacrifice to the Lord and made vows. Then Jonah prayed to the Lord his God from the belly of the fish, saying, I called to the Lord out of my distress, and he answered me. Out of the belly of Sheol I cried, and thou didst hear my voice. For thou didst cast me into the deep, into the heart of the seas, and the flood was around about me. All thy waves and thy billows passed over me. Then I said, I am cast out from thy presence. How shall I again look upon thy holy temple? The waters closed in over me. The deep was round about me. The weeds were wrapped about my head at the roots of the mountains. I went down to the land whose bars closed upon me forever. Yet thou didst bring up my life from the pit, O Lord my God. When my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord, and my prayer came to thee into thy holy temple. Those who pay regard to vain idols forsake their true loyalty. But I, with the voice of thanksgiving, will sacrifice to thee. What I have vowed, I will pay. Deliverance belongs to the Lord. And the Lord spoke to the fish, and it vomited out Jonah upon the dry land. Then the word of the Lord came to Jonah the second time, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and proclaim to it the message that I tell you. So Jonah arose and went to Nineveh according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was an exceedingly great city, three days' journey in breadth. Jonah began to go into the city, going a day's journey, and he cried, Yet forty days, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. And the people of Nineveh believed God. They proclaimed a fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest of them to the least of them. The tidings reached the king of Nineveh, and he rose from his throne, removed his robe, and covered himself with sackcloth and sat in ashes. And he made proclamation and published through Nineveh, by the decree of the king and his nobles, let neither man nor beast, herd nor flock, taste anything. Let them not feed or drink water, but let man and beast be covered with sackcloth, and let them cry mightily to God. Yea, let every one turn from his evil way and from the violence which is in his hands. Who knows, God may yet repent and turn from his fierce anger so that we perish not. Then God saw what they did, how they turned from their evil way. God repented of the evil which he had said he would do to them, and he did not do it. But it displeased Jonah exceedingly, and he was angry. And he prayed to the Lord and said, I pray thee, Lord, is not this what I said when I was yet in my country? That is why I made haste to flee to Tarshish, for I knew that thou art a gracious God and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love, and repentest of evil. Therefore now I beseech thee, for it is better for me to die than to live. And the Lord said, Do you do well to be angry? Then Jonah went out of the city and sat to the east of the city and made a booth for himself there. He sat in the shade under it till he should see what would become of the city. And the Lord God appointed a plant and made it come up over Jonah that it might be a shade over his head to save him from his discomfort. So Jonah was exceedingly glad because of the plant. But when dawn came up the next day, God appointed a worm which attacked the plant so that it withered. When the sun rose, God appointed a sultry east wind, and the sun beat upon the head of Jonah so that he was faint. And he asked that he might die, and said, It is better for me to die than to live. But God said to Jonah, Do you do well to be angry for the plant? And he said, I do well to be angry, angry enough to die. And the Lord said, You pity the plant for which you did not labor, nor did you make it grow which came into being in a night, and perished in a night. And should not I pity Nineveh, that great city, in which there are more than a hundred and twenty thousand persons, who do not know their right hand from their left, and also much cattle? The reading is from the prophecy of Daniel. Let us be attentive. King Nebuchadnezzar made a statue of gold of sixty cubits high and six cubits broad, and he set it up in the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. The Nebuchadnezzar the king sent to call together the nobles, the magistrates, and the judges, the captains, the rulers, and the governors, and all the chief men of the provinces, 
to come to the dedication of the statue which King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Then the nobles, the magistrates, and the judges, the captains, and the rulers, and the great men that were placed in authority, and all the princes of the provinces were gathered together to come to the dedication of the statue which King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. And they stood before the statue which, statue which King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Then a herald cried with a strong voice, To you it is commanded, O nations, tribes, and languages, that in the hour that you shall hear the sound of the trumpet, and of the flute, and of the harp, and the sackbut, and of the psaltery, and of the symphony, and all kind of music, you fall down and adore the golden statue which King Nebuchadnezzar has set up. But if any man shall not fall down and adore, he shall at that same hour be cast into a furnace of burning fire. Upon this, therefore, at the time when all the people heard the sound of the trumpet, the flute, of the harp, of the sackbut, and the psaltery, of the symphony, and all kinds of music, all the nations, tribes, and languages fell down and adored the golden statue which King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. And presently, at that very time, some Chaldeans came and accused the Jews, and sent, said to King Nebuchadnezzar, O king, live forever. Thou, O king, hast made a decree that every man shall hear the sound of the trumpet, the flute, the harp, of the sackbut, and the psaltery, of the symphony, and all kind of music, shall prostrate himself and adore the golden statue. And that if any man shall not fall down and adore, he should be cast into a furnace of burning fire. Now there are certain Jews whom thou hast set over the works of the province of Babylon, Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These men, O king, have slighted thy decree. They worship not thy gods, nor do they adore the golden statue without which thou hast set up. Then, then, then uh, King Nebuchadnezzar, in fury and in wrath, commanded that Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego should be brought, who immediately were brought before the king. And King Nebuchadnezzar, the king, spoke to them and said, it is, tr is it true, O Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you do not worship my God, nor adore the golden statue that I have set up? Now therefore, if you be ready at whatever hour, you shall hear the sound of the trumpet, the flute, harp, sackbut, and psaltery, and symphony, and all kind of music. Prostrate yourselves, and adore the statue which I have made. But if you do not adore, you shall be cast the same hour into the furnace of burning fire. And who is the God that shall deliver you out of my hand? Shidrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king Nebuchadnezzar, We have no occasion to answer thee concerning this matter. For behold, our God, whom we worship, is able to save us from the furnace of burning fire, and to deliver us out of thy hands, O king. But if he will not, be it known to thee, O king, that we will not worship thy gods, nor adore the golden statue which thou hast set up. Then was Nebuchadnezzar filled with fury, and the countenance of his face was changed against Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And he commanded that the furnace should be heated seven times more than it had been accustomed to be heated. And he commanded the strongest men that were in his army to bind the feet of Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and to cast them into the furnace of burning fire. And immediately the men were bound and were cast into the furnace of burning fire, with their coats, their caps, their shoes, and their garments. The king's commandment was urgent, and the furnace was heated exceedingly. And the flame of the fire slew those men who had cast in Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego. But the three men, that is, Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down bound in the midst of the furnace of burning fire. And they walked in the midst of the flame, praising God and blessing the Lord. Then Azariah, standing up, prayed in this manner, and opened his mouth in the midst of the fire, and he said, Blessed art thou, O God, the Lord of our fathers, and thy name is worthy of praise and glorious forever. For thou art just in all that thou hast done to us, and all thy works are true, and all thy ways right, and all thy judgments true. For thou hast executed true judgments in all things that thou hast brought upon us, and upon Jerusalem, the holy city of our fathers. For according to truth and judgment thou hast brought all these things upon us for our sins. For we have sinned and committed iniquity, departing from thee, and we have trespassed in all things. We have not hearkened to thy commandments, nor have we observed nor done as thou hast commanded us, that it might go well with us. Wherefore, all that thou hast brought upon us, and everything that thou hast done to us, thou hast done in true judgment. And thou hast delivered us into the hand of our enemies that are unjust, 
and most wicked and provocateurs, and to a king unjust and most wicked beyond all that are upon the earth. And now we cannot open our mouths. We are become a shame and a reproach to thy servants and to them that worship thee. Deliver us not up forever, we beseech thee, for thy name's sake, and abolish not thy covenant. And take not away thy mercy from us, for the sake of Abraham thy beloved, and Isaac thy servant, and Israel thy holy one, to whom thou hast spoken, promising that thou wouldst multiply their seed as the stars of heaven, and as the sand that is on the seashore. For we, O Lord, are diminished more than any nation, and we are brought low in all the earth this day for our sins. Neither is there at this time prince, or leader, or prophet, or holocaust, or sacrifice, or oblation, or incense, or place, or first fruits before thee, that we may find thy mercy. Nevertheless, in a contrite heart and a humble spirit, let us be accepted. As in holocausts of rams and bullocks, as in the thousand of fat lambs, so let our sacrifice be made in thy sight this day, that it may please thee, for there is no confusion to them that trust in thee. And now we follow thee with all our heart, and we fear thee and seek thy face. Put us not to confusion, but deal with us according to thy meekness, and according to the multitude of thy wonderful works, and give glory to thy name, O Lord. And let all them that be confounded that show evils to thy servants, and let them be confounded in all thy might, and let their strength be broken. And let them that thou, and tell them that thou art the Lord, the only God, the glorious over all of the world. Now the king's servants that had cast them in ceased not to heat the furnace with brimstone and tow and pitch and dry sticks. And the flames mounted up above the furnace nine and forty cubits. And it broke forth and burnt such of the Chaldeans as it found near the furnace. But the angel of the Lord went down with Azarias and his companions into the furnace. And he drove the flame of the fire out of the furnace, and made the midst of the furnace like a blowing of a wind bringing dew. And the fire touched them not at all, nor troubled them, nor did them any harm. Then these three which were with one mouth praised, and glorified and blessed God in the furnace, saying, Praise the Lord and exalt him more and more unto thee and to all the ages. All ye works of the Lord, bless the Lord, praise and exalt him forever. Praise the Lord and exalt him more and more unto all the ages. O ye, ye angels of the Lord, and ye heavens of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. Praise the Lord and exalt waters be above the heavens, and all ye powers of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. Praise the Lord, and exalt him more and more unto all the ages. O ye sun and moon, and ye stars of heaven, bless ye the Lord. Praise the Lord, and exalt him more and more unto all the ages. O ye, ye light and darkness, ye night and days, bless ye the Lord. Praise the Lord, and exalt him more and more unto all the ages. O ye showers and dew, and all ye winds, bless ye the Lord. Praise the Lord, and exalt him more and more unto all the ages. O ye fire and warmth, ye cold and heat, Bless ye the Lord. Praise the Lord and exalt him more and more unto all the ages. O ye dews and snows, ye frosts and cold, bless ye the Lord. Praise the Lord and exalt him more and more unto all the ages. O ye frosts and snows, ye lightings and clouds, bless ye the Lord. Praise the Lord and exalt him more and more unto all the ages. O ye earth, mountain, and hills, and all things which grow in her, bless ye the Lord. Praise the Lord and exalt him, more and more unto all the ages. O ye 
fountains, seas, and rivers, whales, and all that move in the waters, bless ye the Lord. Praise the Lord, and exalt him more and more unto all the ages. All ye fowls of heaven, beasts, and all cattle, bless ye the Lord. Praise the Lord, and exalt him more and more unto all the ages. O ye sons of men, bless thee, and let his Israel bless, bless the Lord. Praise the Lord, and exalt him more and more unto all the ages. O ye priests of the Lord, servants of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. Praise the Lord, and exalt him more and more unto all the O ye spirits and souls of the righteous, holy and humble men of heart, bless ye the Lord. Praise the Lord, and exalt him more and more unto all the ages. O Ananias, Azarias, and Misael, bless ye the Lord. Praise the Lord, and exalt him more and more unto all the ages. O ye apostles, prophets, and witnesses of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. Praise the Lord, and exalt him more and more unto all the ages. We bless the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Praise the Lord, and exalt him more and more unto all the ages. We praise and exalt the Lord in all in all the ages. Praise the Lord, and exalt him more and more unto all the ages. We praise, we bless, and <coughs> worship the Lord. Praise the Lord, and exalt him more and more unto all the ages. We praise and glorify the Lord in all the ages. Praise the Lord, and exalt him more and more unto all the ages. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For holy art thou, our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, <coughs> now and ever, and unto ages of on arise O Lord let your hand be raised forget not the poor I will give thanks to you O Lord with my whole heart I will recount all your wonderful deeds the reading is from st. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians let us attend. 
Brethren, a little leaven leavens the whole lump. Cleanse out the old leaven that you may be a new lump, as you really are unleavened. For Christ, our Paschal Lamb, has been sacrificed. Let us therefore celebrate the festival, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed be everyone who hangs on a tree. That in Christ Jesus the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. The Spirit thee that readeth. And to thy Spirit. <laughs> of the Holy Gospel is according to St. Matthew. Glory to thee, O Lord. Glory to thee, O Lord. Let us attend. After the Sabbath, toward the dawn of the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the sepulcher. And behold, there was a great earthquake. For an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone and sat upon it. His appearance was like lightning and his raiment white as snow. And for fear of him, the guards trembled and became like dead men. But the angel said to the woman, Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has risen, as he said. Come, see the place where the Lord lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead and behold, he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him. Lo, I have told you. So they departed quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy, and ran to tell his disciples. As they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met them and said, Hail. And they came up and took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brethren to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. While they were going, behold, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priest all that had taken place. And when they had assembled with the elders and taken counsel, they gave a great sum of money to the soldiers and said, Tell people, his disciples came by night and stole him away while we were asleep. And if this comes to the governor's ears, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. So they took the money and did as they were directed. And this story has been spread among the Jews to this day. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, to the close of the age. Amen. Glory to thee, O Lord. Glory to thee, O Lord. <clears throat> Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. 
that guarded always by thy might we may ascribe glory unto thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. No one who is bound with the desires and pleasures of the flesh is worthy to approach or draw nigh or to serve the obtain of glory. For to serve thee is a great and terrible thing, even in the heavenly powers. Nevertheless, put on unspeakable and boundless love for mankind. Thou didst become man, yet without change or alteration. And as Lord of all, to speak the name of our high priest, and deliver unto us the ministry of most liturgic and unbloody sacrifice. For thou alone, O Lord, our God, rulest over those in heaven and on earth, who art born under the throne of the cherubim, who art Lord of the seraphim and king of Israel, who alone art holy and rest in thy own place.
Joseph and all our brotherhood in Christ, the Lord God remember them in his kingdom, always now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. For Metropolitan Paul and Archbishop John, for their quick release from captivity and safe return, the Lord God remember them in his kingdom. Always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. For the President of the United States, all civil authorities, and our armed forces everywhere, the Lord God remember them in his kingdom. Always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. For the Orthodox servants of God, especially for the Archpriest Wayne, for the Archpriest John Stephen, for Wanda, Teresa, Michelle, Tatiana, Max, Elizabeth, Tom, Liam, Candace, and Wayne, Maggie, Alexandra, Kelsey, Stacy, Michelle, that they have mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, <coughs> visitation, pardon, and remission of their sins. The Lord God remember them in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. For the Orthodox servants of God departed this life, especially for the priest Catalan and for Annie. The Lord God remember them in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Complete our prayer unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gift now set forth, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for those with faith, reverence, and the fear of God entered therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. <coughs> that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. Pardon remission of our sins and transgressions, all things good and profitable for our souls, and peace for the world. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, for a Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful and a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Through the 
the compassions of thy only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thy all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Christ is in our midst. He is and ever shall be. Christ is in our midst. He is and ever shall be. Begotten of the Father before all worlds, worlds. light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again, according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified by who spake by the prophets. And, and I believe one holy Catholic in our church. church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the, and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let <laughs> us stand aright. Let us stand with fear. Let us attend that we may offer the holy oblation in peace. A mercy, a peace, a sacrifice, a praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ <clears throat> and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with thy spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. It is he. Worship the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence and undivided. O Thou who dost truly exist, Master, Lord God, Father Almighty, adorable, it is truly meet and just and befitting the majesty of Thy holiness that we should magnify Thee, praise Thee, bless Thee, worship Thee, give thanks unto Thee and glorify thee, the only truly existing God, and offer unto thee, with contrite heart and spirit of humility, this our reasonable service. For thou art he that hath graciously bestowed upon us the knowledge of thy truth, and who is sufficient to speak of thy mighty acts, to make all thy praises to be heard, or to tell of all thy wonders at every season. O Master of all, Lord of heaven and earth, and of all creation, both visible and invisible, who sitteth upon the throne of glory, and beholdest the depths, who art without beginning, invisible, incomprehensible, uncircumscript, immutable, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, our great God and Savior, our hope, who is the image of thy goodness, the seal of equal type, in himself showing forth thee, the Father, the living word, the true God, the wisdom before all ages, the life, sanctification, might, the true light, through whom the Holy Spirit was manifested, the spirit of truth, the gift of adoption, the pledge of an inheritance to come, the first fruits of eternal good things, the life-giving power, the fountain of holiness, 
by whom enabled every rational and intelligent creature to serve thee and send up to thee perpetual praise. For all things are thy servants, yea, angels and archangels, thrones, dominions, principalities, authorities, powers, and the many eyed cherubim praise thee. Round about thee stand the six winged seraphim, and with twain they cover their faces, and with twain their feet, and with twain they fly, continuing crying, continually crying out to one another with unceasing praises. Singing the triumphal hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying, providing for him the salvation of regeneration, which is in thy Christ himself. Yet thou didst not turn thyself away forever from the creature whom thou hast made, O good one, neither didst thou forget the work of thy hands. But thou didst visit him in diverse manners, through the tender compassion of thy mercy. Thou didst send forth prophets. Thou didst perform mighty works by the saints, who in every generation were well pleasing unto thee. Thou didst speak to us by the mouths of thy servants, the prophets, who foretold unto us the salvation which was to come. Thou didst give us the law to aid us, thou didst appoint guardian angels. And when the fullness of time was come, thou didst speak unto us through thy Son himself, by whom also thou madest the ages, who being the brightness of thy glory, and the express image of thy person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, thought it not robbery to be equal to thee, the God and Father, but albeit he was God before all the ages, Yet he appeared upon earth and dwelt among men and was incarnate of a holy virgin and did empty himself, taking on the form of a servant and becoming conformed to the fashion of our lowliness that he might make us conformable to the image of his glory. For as by man sin entered into the world and by sin death, so it seemed good unto thine only begotten Son who is in thy bosom our God and Father to be born of a woman, the holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, to be born under the law that he might condemn sin in his flesh, that they who were dead in Adam might be made alive in thy Christ, and becoming a dweller in this world and giving commandments of salvation. He released us from the delusions of idols and brought us into a knowledge of thee, the true God and Father, having won us unto himself for his own people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, and being purified with water and sanctified with the Holy Spirit. He gave himself a ransom to death, whereby we were held, sold into bondage under sin, and having descended into hell through the cross that he might fill all things with himself, he loosed the pains of death and rose again from the dead on the third day, making a way for all flesh through the resurrection from the dead. For it was not possible that the author of life should be holden of corruption, that he might be the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep, the firstborn from the dead, and he shall be all things, the first in all things, and ascending into heaven, he sat down at the right hand of thy majesty on high, and he shall come again to render unto every man according to his words. And he is left with us as memorials of his saving passion, these things which we have spread forth according to his commandment. For when he was about to go forth to his voluntary and ever memorable and life-creating death, in the night in which he gave himself for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy and spotless hands, and when he had shown it unto thee as God and Father, and given thanks, and blessed it, and hallowed it, and broken it, he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take ye, this is my body, which is broken for you, for the remission of sins. In like manner, having taken the cup of the fruit of the vine, and mingled it, and given thanks, and blessed it, and hallowed it, he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Drink ye all of this, this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Amen. Do this. 
this in remembrance of me. For as often as you shall eat this bread and drink of this cup, you do proclaim my death and confess my resurrection. Wherefore, <clears throat> O Master, we also, having in remembrance his saving passion and life-giving cross, his three days burial and resurrection <clears throat> from the dead, his ascension into heaven and session at thy right hand as God and Father, and his glorious and terrible second advent, Thine own of thine own we offer unto thee in behalf of all and for all. graciously permitted to minister at thy holy altar, not through our own righteousness, for we have done no good deed upon earth, but because of thy mercies and bounties, which thou hast richly poured out upon us, have now boldness to draw near unto this thy holy altar, and presenting unto thee the antitypes of the holy body and blood of thy Christ. We pray thee and implore thee, O holy of holies, by the favor of thy goodness, that thy Holy Spirit may descend upon us and upon these gifts are spread forth and bless them and hallow them and show this bread to be itself the precious body of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ Amen. and this cup to be itself the precious blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ Amen. which was shed for the life of the world and for its salvation Amen, amen, amen. And as for us, partakers of the one bread and of the cup, do thou unite all to one another unto communion of the one Holy Spirit, and grant that no one of us may partake of the holy body and blood of thy Christ, unto judgment or unto condemnation, but rather that we may find mercy and grace with all the saints who have ever been well-pleasing unto thee, forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, Apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, teachers, and every righteous spirit made perfect in faith. Especially our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. For the Holy Prophet, for honor, Baptist John, all, all the glorious, all the Father, the Father, upon them and upon us according to the multitude of thy mercies fill their treasuries with every good thing maintain their marriage bond in peace and concord rear the infants guide the young support the age encourage the faint-hearted collect the scattered and turn them from their wandering astray and unite them to thy holy catholic and apostolic church set at liberty those who are vexed by unclean spirits travel with those who journey by land and sea and air Defend the widows, protect the orphans, free the captives, heal the sick, and those who are under trial in the mines, in exile, and every tribulation, necessity, and danger. Remember, O oh God, all those who beseech thy great loving kindness, and those who love us, and those who hate us, and those who have enjoined us, unworthy though we be, to pray unto them. Be thyself the healer of the sick, and all things to all men, O oh thou who knowest every man, his petition his dwelling place, and his need. Deliver, O Lord, this city and every city and countryside from famine, plague, earthquake, flood, fire, sword, invasion of enemies, 
and civil war. Among the first be mindful, O Lord of our Father and Metropolitan Joseph, whom do thou grant unto thy holy churches peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, and rightly dividing the word of thy truth. And all mankind. Be mindful, O Lord, of every bishop, for the Orthodox who rightly divide the word of thy truth. Be mindful also, O Lord, of my unworthiness, according to the multitude of thy compassions. Pardon me every transgression, both voluntary and involuntary, and withhold not, because of my sins, the grace of thy Holy Spirit from these gifts here spread forth. Be mindful, O Lord, of the priesthood, diaconate in Christ, every priestly rank, and put not to confusion any one of us who stand about thy holy altar. Visit us with thy loving kindness, O Lord. Manifest thyself unto us in thy rich compassions. Grant us temperate and healthful seasons. Give gentle showers upon the earth unto fruitfulness. Bless the crown of the year of thy beneficence. Make the schisms of the churches to cease. Quench the ragings of hostile nations. Speedily destroy by the might of thy Holy Spirit uprisings of heresies. Receive us all into thy kingdom, making us children of the light and of the day. And grant unto us thy peace and thy love, O Lord our God, for all things hast thou given unto us. And grant us with one mouth and one heart to glorify and praise thine all honorable majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. And with thy spirit. Calling to remembrance all the saints again and again in peace. Let us pray to the Lord for the precious gifts which have been offered and sanctified. Let us pray to the Lord that our God, who loves mankind, receiving them upon his holy, heavenly, and ideal altar for an odor of spiritual fragrance, will send down upon us in return his divine grace, and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Asking for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God. Vouchsafe, O Lord, that with, uh, with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call upon thee, the heavenly God, as Father, and to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Look down, O Lord Jesus Christ, I mean, through the grace and compassion and love toward man of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine own holy good, life-giving Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Look down, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, from thy holy dwelling place and from the throne of the glory of thy kingdom and come to sanctify us, O Thou, who sitteth on high with the Father, and art here invisibly present with us, and vouchsafe by Thy mighty hand to impart unto us that immaculate body and precious blood, 
and through us unto all the people. God be gracious and sinner, have mercy upon me. O God be gracious unto me, sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God be gracious unto me, sinner, and have mercy upon me. Let us attend. Holy things are for the holy. I am Alpha and Omega, the 
O God, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. <coughs> Remember us, O merciful one, as thou didst remember the thief in the kingdom of Blessed is our God. <laughs> Always, now, and ever, and unto ages <laughs> of ages. <laughs> Amen. Let our mouths be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that we may sing of thy glory. For thou hast made us worthy to partake of thy holy, divine, immortal, and life creating mysteries. Keep us in thy home. upon thy righteousness. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us attend, having partaken of the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly, life-giving, and awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Lord Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Asking that this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God. <laughs> We give thanks unto thee, O Lord our God, for the participation in thy holy, pure, and immortal heavenly mysteries, which thou hast given unto us for the welfare and sanctification and healing of our souls and bodies. Do thou, the same Lord of all, grant that the communion of the holy body and blood of thy Christ may be for us unto faith which cannot be put to confusion, unto love unfeigned, unto increase of wisdom, unto the healing of soul and body, unto the turning aside of every adversary unto the fulfillment of thy commandments, and unto an acceptable defense at the dread judgment seat of thy Christ. For thou art our sanctification, and unto thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, who blesses those who bless thee, and sanctifies those who put their trust in thee, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Preserve the fullness of thy church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of thy house. <clears throat> Glorify them and recompense by thy divine power, and forsake us not who hope on thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to the priests, to all civil authorities, to our armed forces, and to all thy people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from thee, the Father of lights. And unto thee we ascribe glory, thanksgiving, and worship, to the Father, <laughs> and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. O Christ, our God, who art thyself the fulfillment of the law and the prophets, who is fulfilled be the name of the Lord, and
mercy come upon you through his grace and love towards men, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God, and our whole glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. May he who rose from the dead, Christ, our true God, through the intercessions of his all immaculate and all blameless Holy Mother, by the might of the precious and life-giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner and Baptist John, of the holy glorious and all laudable apostles, of our Father among the saints, Basil the Great, Archbishop of Caesarea in Cappadocia, whose divine liturgy we have now celebrated, of the holy, glorious, and right victorious martyrs, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, of St. Barnabas, patron and protector of this holy community, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Adam, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for as much as he is good and love as mankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us, and save us.